Thank you for joining us for the Two Minute Drills. I'm Aram Talijan, joined by Fred J. Robledo. Freddie, annually, one of the biggest games mm -hmm. that goes down in the area, regardless of records, uh, is when Montebello and Sure play. You're talking about a cross-city yeah. rivalry, Freddie. Two schools very, very close to each other. All the kids know each other. And I said, like, at the beginning, no matter what the records are. However, yeah. when the records are good, you when there's a lot of the line, next this year, there's a lot of years where it's, it's more kind of been even than that, and it has been. But because it's a rivalry, they've been closer than you think. Right. So the point is, though, is that now this year we've got a year where both teams have good records, and what we're talking about is Montebello enters this game at five and one. Sure, enters this game at four and two. Freddie, um, both teams one and zero in the Almont League. Of course, sure got there because Keppel had to forfeit last week. Um, but <laughs> that's count. but it right. didn't matter. It, they would have won that game yeah, anyways, yeah. I think. Um, yeah, the, the two nothing think. wasn't fair. It would have been right. sixty to nothing. So now the stage is set for a monstrous game to go down at Sure High School, projecting around three thousand fans to be yeah. there. This is a huge game for the area, a huge rivalry. My dad yeah. went to Montebello, by yeah. the way. My two cousins went to Sure. Well I, well, I remember, you know, back we the Roger Murray, the great Roger mm -hmm. Murray, used yeah. to be in Whittier. There was. He had to take a leave of absence one year, and this was like early 2000s, and I had to go over and be the Whittier prep editor okay. uh, during the football season. I think I remember this. Yeah, and, and, and I went to a couple of Montebello football games, and the atmosphere there was, uh, it was incredible. I mean, right. it was, it was uh, and there was gritty football. I mean, those right. kids play so hard and so tough. Right. And, and the fans are a reflection of that, too, because the fans really get in, into it. Right. And it reminds me sometimes of going, you know, tailgating at some of these, some of the you know your, your local college games or some of the high school games where right. you really get into it. Right. Um, they love their football over there. Yes. Just uh, north of the six oh or, or south of the six oh five. North of the sixty. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the question though, um, you know, we know Montebello. Uh, that, that's a program that's doing you know pretty fantastic under Pete Gonzalez. Yeah. They have Brian Zavala, a guy we know as a former Wilson head coach. Um, a, a guy that was an assistant coach yeah. around the area. He's running the defense there, and they're giving Good up course. absolutely nothing. And you know, we who, both know, who was one of those lost to? Uh, St. Saint, Paul. Saint it was Paul, seven right. to six. Yeah, that's I right. mean, I seven to six to St. Paul when your Montebello is pretty good. And yeah. and as you know, the Montebello coaches feel like they could have won that game. Um, so you have that dynamic going on there. But then over at Sure, you have a coach like Dave Ramos, Freddie. That's that last year toward the end of the season, despite a loss, you know, pretty decent loss to Montebello in league, sure finished the season strong. And then they came into this season, they won their first three games, they smoked San Marino, which we know is down, yeah. but still they smoked them. I mean, it was like 49 to seven. Um, however, there's a little cause for pause with them because they got worked over by Whittier pretty well. But nonetheless, we do know that this sure team compared to last year is better than what it was. Yeah. The question is, are they going to be able to crack that Zavala defense at Montebello? Yeah, well, if you if, if you were looking at this game strictly on paper, and you mentioned it, losing right. to Whittier when Montebello had the uh, the close game to St. Paul, if you're looking at it just from that standpoint, I think you're picking Montebello and you're not even thinking twice about it. Montebello easy. Yeah. Right. But I think you given, throw given, in the rivalry. Given, given the fact that this is a rivalry, and even in years where teams have been even, even it would appear on paper even more one-sided than this, they have a history where that game becomes close anyway. So it's a, it's, it's a really hard game to predict. Um, but I don't know how how sitting here you don't go with Montebello, given their, their, their coaching staff, and, and you mentioned that those guys know what they're doing. And just the fact that uh, Montebello historically, Aram, I think has gotten the better of sure in these games. Yeah, and but sure is going to come into this with more confidence than usual. They've tasted winning now. They win more often than they lose. The fact that it's actually um, is going to make a big deal, too. Again, the kids all know each other. We, we, we talk about these things. You know, we always go back to yeah. the Mission Valley League and say, you know, the kids all look like each other in yeah. the uniforms, meaning yeah. nobody really out-talents anyone. Maybe some coaches out-coach that, that, that makes a big difference, you know. It does make a, a difference. A, a couple of weeks ago, South Hills gave Charter Oak all they can handle. Led 21-14 going to the fourth right. quarter, Charter Oak pulled away. I talked to one of the coaches and the dad and something. They go, these kids, all, because they grew up knowing right. each other. It, they're not intimidated They're not by intimidated. Each other. You, you right. feel like, it, it, right. even though they're Charter Oak and you know what they've done, right. that this is my buddy that I've lined up right. against my whole life, right. and he's not going to intimidate me, and you're, I'm going to go <laughs> in. And something's different is going to happen. And, 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 and that's the point that you're making in a game like this. Yes. They've grown up and used football. Right. And so they're not scared of each other. Right. They're not intimidated. And that, my friends, may be why this game is going to be interesting. 
Is it going to be interesting, Freddie? Can Schur score enough is. points to keep this a game? Can yeah. they score enough? Because yeah. Schur's defense has been playing decent yeah. too. They're only allowing seventeen points a game. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a blowout, Aaron. Again, okay. I, I'm going to, I'm going to go to scratch. I'm going to pick the team that on paper is favored, Montebello. Yeah. But I do think it's going to be a close game. Uh, it's going to be a fourth quarter game. Sure, sure is at home, right? Which yes. makes that which is going to make a big deal. But I think in the end, I'm sure Montebello will have end, fans there. Frank. I think best team wins out, and it's going to be Montebello. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't see how Sure can consistently crack this Montebello defense, if at all. They, sure is going to need, like we talked about last week with West Covina against Charter Oak, they're going to need one or two big haymakers early to say, "Hey, we're here. We're in this game." We are, we're, we're not going anywhere. Yeah. But if this is an uphill climb the whole way, if, if it gets 7 nothing, 14 nothing, Montebello, and now you're trying to pass to get back into it on that defense, yeah. Zavala's just going to tee off on you. He's going to send his guys, and it's going to be curtains. Yeah. You're so, going to be there, Aaron. Yeah, I'm going to be there. Aaron's you should have be been there, man. This <laughs> this would have been your classic environment, atmosphere oh, I game. That. I Freddie. That. Um, it, oh, it's it, even it really, tough the Nogales environment that I Oh, I guarantee you it will. There's going to be le le legitimately 3,000 fans wow. at this game, maybe more. So that's going to be a lot of fun. That's good to know high school football in some areas is alive and well. Oh, there, yeah. Because there's, there's been some of our, our football teams I've been to that the, the crowds have been. No, uh, don't worry about, yeah, yeah, do about that here. Yeah. Yeah, do not worry about that here. That's what it's all about. Yeah, so we both have Montebello to get the win. Uh, but, but we've both been known to be around. There's a lot of there's like food choices. There's not, on not only probably, I, see, I, I haven't covered a, a game at sure, so I'm not really yeah. sure what their snack bar you situation start is. You on Twitter and start asking around. Yeah, but there are restaurants around there. Having lived in that area, there's a lot of places I could go. <laughs> and I probably will. I might eat three dinners, Freddie, right, before the game and maybe some after. Anyways, I don't have to tell you fans to get out there. I know you'll be there. This environment's going to be rocking. Montebello visiting Sure on Friday night. And basically, this is for the Almont League Championship. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Enjoy it.